Hey, what's up? John Morris here. And in this video, what I want to talk about is how to sort multi-dimensional arrays. Now, I know for me, when I was first learning PHP, this is multi-dimensional arrays is one of the things that was kind of hard to get my head around. And as I did, one of the first things that I wanted to learn how to do was to be able to sort those, those arrays, uh, especially by certain keys or values or whatever the case may be. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you or show you how to sort multi-dimensional arrays. I'm going to show you a couple of different options for doing that and hopefully help clear up uh, some of the confusion that you might have when it comes to multi-dimensional arrays and especially sorting them. So uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and dive in and uh, get to it. So let's go ahead and dive into the code here and take a look at how to actually go about s sorting multi-dimensional arrays because again it can be a little uh, confusing at first when you first start working with multi multi-dimensional arrays especially you want to sort them so let's go ahead and take a look so you can see that we've created a multi-dimensional array here um, and inside that array essentially I've recreated something that you might see when working inside of a database. Again, the thing to keep in mind with this is when you look at the PHP manual, they're going to give you examples to show you different scenarios, but a lot of times the uh, the arrays that you see there aren't going to be arrays that you'll actually get when working with data. A lot of the times, at least in my experience, the a lot of times that I see multi-dimensional arrays is when I'm working with database data, whether it's a database of users, a database of posts, and say a content management system, or whatever the case may be, usually that's where I'm getting the multi-dimensional arrays. So when you do that, what you're going to end up with is instead of I, I don't I don't know that I've ever seen an array that has a multi-dimensional array when working in that environment where the each array would have a different set of keys. Normally when you get data back from a database it's going to have the same each record you're getting records from the database so each record is going to have the same key keys it's going to be a, an array of users and they're you know it's going to be their names their age their website or uh, whatever the case may be whatever data you're pulling or if it's posts it's going to be the title the content and so on so the keys are going to be the same you'll notice when looking in the PHP manual, it gives you arrays with different keys and so on and so forth. So it can be a little bit confusing, but know that most of the time when you're working with multidimensional arrays, you're going to have associative arrays like this inside your main, your top level array. And they're all going to have the same keys. They're just going to have different values. Okay. And that is something important to pay attention to because it does make it a little bit simpler when you start to think about it. So you can see here I have just a simple set of associative arrays. It's the name, age, and website of just some users that I made up. And so you can kind of take a look at that here. And then the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use what's called array multi-sort. And so what array multi-sort is going to do in this instance, and again, when you go to the PHP manual and you look at array multi-sort, it's going to have a bunch of different funky arrays and it's just showing you different scenarios and I understand from their perspective why they do that uh, it makes sense but most of the time you're not going to use array multi-sort in the way that they use it okay so most of the time it's going to be something like this so in this context when you apply array multi-sort to this array or a similar array with where you have an associative arrays inside and you have uh, keys that are all the same for each record then essentially what it's going to do is a, a simple kind of sort. So it's going to take the first key and it's going to sort these values. So in this case, when we sort this, it should be Alex, Amy, Joe, John, and Pat. And it's essentially going to sort these records by that first key. Okay, So Alex and all his information should come first, and then Amy and all her information. Joe, John, and Pat. And so you can see we do this array multi-sort here, and we do a print R with some pre-tags, so it looks pretty. And that's what we should get. And we're also doing one up here. So what we should see first is we should see just our array printed out how it is, and then we should see it sorted, sorted 
uh, in uh, alphabetic, alphabetical order by this first key. All right, so if we go over, I'll go ahead and refresh just so you can see here. You can see our first array, Joe, John, Amy, Alex, not sorted, just like how we created it. And then after our array multi-sort, we have Alex, Amy, Joe, John, and Pat sorted by the first key. So if that's all you're looking for, then array multi-sort is the way to go because uh, it's gonna be very quick, and it's gonna be you know very reliable, and it's gonna sort by this first key here. So that is the simplest way to sort arrays using uh, PHP, or multi-dimensional arrays using PHP. Now, a lot of times though, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna sort by a different key. You're not gonna wanna sort by the name. Maybe you wanna sort them by the age. So that would be something that would be pretty common to do. Or if you're using, you know, you're getting posts instead of users, instead of sorting by the post ID, you might wanna sort by, you know, the post title, or maybe you wanna sort by the uh, publish date or whatever the case may be, you may have uh, different things that you wanna sort by. So how would you do that? Well, array multi-sort by default isn't gonna allow you to do that. So we have to write uh, a custom function. And so I've written just this custom function here called value sort because we're gonna sort by the value of a specified key, All right? So what we pass into this function is we're gonna pass in the array we wanna sort, which is this array up here, and then what key we wanna sort by. Do we wanna sort by name, age, or website? So that's what we pass in. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do here then is we're gonna loop through our original array, separating it into key value pairs. And what we're gonna grab is we're going to grab the values of the key that we specified. Okay, so we specify, you'll see down here, we specify the age. Okay, so we're gonna, we're passing that in here. So this is essentially age. And we're gonna create a new array and we're grabbing the value of uh, that particular key, all right? So what we end up with is we should end up with a array, an indexed array of the ages, of just the ages, okay? So you can see I've done a print R here, and so we can head back over, we can look at that, and you can see that that's what we have. We have an array of, an indexed array of the ages in our, um, initial array. So we have 22, 32, 28, 30, and 40. And if you look, um, 22, 32, 28, 30, and 40. Okay. So that's what that first loop does. It gets us just these, because this is what we want to ultimately sort by. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sort those. So we're going to sort those in, by, in numeric order. And then you can see I printed that back out after the sort so you can see what it looks like. And so now you can see that after the sort we have 22, 28, 30, 32, and 40 and they're in order. But what you'll notice is that the keys, we retained our key information here. So instead of this getting re-indexed, so it was 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, it kept the original keys, so it's 0, 2, 3, 1, 4. That's important because when we get to the next part, then we're going to create a new array where we loop through our original array, but we do it in the key order that we now have after we've done our sort here. Okay, so that's what we do here. Now we're going to loop through, uh, we're going to create a new array and we're going to loop through our uh, array that we just created of um, our our ages. We're going to loop through that, again, doing key value pairs. We're going to create a new array, but we're going to base it off of the key. Okay, and again, the keys now are in this particular order. So essentially what this is going to do when we loop through, it's going to go back to our original array here. But what it's going to do is instead of doing it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going to do it 0, 2, 3, 1, 4 and create an array in that order, and that's the order by our age, okay? And so then, the last thing that we have is we have our actual array that we've got, we're gonna return that, and then of course we're calling that function here to make it work, but 
we're, we're going to print out that new array. And what you'll see is that we have it re-indexed and we have it sorted by age now, 22, 28, 30, 32, and 40. Okay, so that's essentially what this function does. Now don't worry, um, we'll talk about how you can get this text file if you want this actual function here in a minute. So uh, if that's the big question on your mind right now, just give me one second, we'll get to that. Now, um, what if you wanna do it by website? So we can just change our call and pass in the key for website instead. We'll save that and we'll refresh. And you notice that this changes because now we're doing it by website and not age. And you'll notice that down here in our final array, what we end up with, we have it sorted by website. So of course they all have HTTP colon backslash backslash. And then we have Amy, A, J, L, P, and T. So they're sorted by the website here. Okay, so that's a simple function that will allow you to go ahead and sort by whatever key you want to sort by. Now again, this could be any data. It doesn't have to be user data. It could be post data. It could be anything. And you can use this function to sort by that. All right, so that's a little bit about um, how to sort multi-dimensional arrays. Of course, this is something uh, as you go forward, you're going to kind of want to get your head around yourself and, and be able to kind of do on the fly. But th that said, I want to provide you with this source code as well. So, um, you know, if you're on YouTube watching this video, then you'll see right below um, this video, you'll see a link to a page on my website. It's going to have this YouTube video and it will also then have a link to the source code. So you can get the source code there. So again, you'll see that link right below this video in order to get the source code. Just go there and uh, you can have this particular function. I'm gonna leave in all of the print R, R's and the echoes in here so that you can actually see it for learning. But when you go to use this, you wanna delete this print R and this echo and this print R here as well. Okay, so hopefully uh, you learned something from that. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, I'll talk to you later.